Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Rise of Empires. I survive with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, and subscriptions. I really, really appreciate it. Keep it up, guys. We are well over 3,000 now. <laughs> it's cool. We're going to continue our series and looking at heroes. We're going to look at our uh, purple development heroes today. Um, I'm still working on our purple combat heroes as a video, but purple development heroes is what we're going to look at today. Um, now, there are six of them. One, two, three. Four. There are five of them. <laughs> I'm already getting it wrong. There are five purple development heroes. Now, everybody in the game receives green thumb at the start. In the new version that is uh, slowly making its way throughout the entire game, uh, green thumb is a bit glitched as far as I've heard. Um, so, uh, you know, don't ask me what's wrong with him because, as I said, as I said, I think it's a bit glitched. Um, but everybody in the game gets green thumb probably in the first couple of days of playing. Uh, and then there are four others: uh, Taskmaster, Guildmaster, Alchemist, and the Mine Master. Now, all of these are focused, obviously, on one sort of production. Uh, Mine Master is for marble, Alchemist is for iron, uh, Guild Master is for trade, Task Master is for wood. Green Thumb, of course, is for food. Um, so once you have Green Thumb, that's fantastic, and it's always good. You know, you're going to be producing a lot of food, which is uh, a very, very good thing to do. Uh, you can see I've leveled him up slightly, but uh, not really done much with him. And this has just come, his levels here have just come purely from gaining experience from this one. Gain 12,000 experience after a successful rapid production. Probably should be a bit higher, actually, now that I think about it. I don't do rapid production that often. Um, but once you've got Green Thumb, fantastic, and he can sit there and be stationed, etc, etc. Now, the other two, we have to look at whether or not they're worth trying to get. Now, how would you get them? Obviously, we could probably try for fragments um, or luck. Um, I have had no luck, but as you can see, I've got some fragments. 37 of the Guildmaster, 35 of the Taskmaster. Oh, okay, it's not too bad at all. Um, in general, they're all exactly the same. So all five of them have the same skills, but just focused on a different area. So say if we have a look here, um, the first skill is always going to give experience after rapid production. The second skill is uh, increasing the production at each of the lumber yards. Third skill is again uh, increasing uh, rapid production success rate. Uh, fourth skill is increasing the effect of lumber yard improvement by 20%. Lumber yard improvement is which one this one no uh this where is this? sorry i'm going blind i think that must be lumber yard improvement i think so yeah, yeah that must be it yeah um this one then is after use so this is an active skill one you have to press uh, every day um but it will increase the uh again production capacity and this one will produce again an active skill you have to press so all of them have those skills um available um, it just focused on their different things. So Mine Master obviously will focus on marble, Alchemist Iron, Guild Master uh, Trade or Gold, and uh, Taskmaster here on Wood. Now all of them are very expensive. <laughs> I don't mean that expensive in terms of uh, the fragments, I mean expensive in terms of opening up their skills. So second skill here, Unlock. Uh, it's pretty standard, we can do, you know, nobody has too much of an issue with that one. But then we get into the third skill here. Okay, hero metal, 10 blues. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty hard. And then we get to the fourth one here. Okay, we need one of the task matter, metal, Taskmaster medals. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, okay. The fifth skill, we need two more of the Taskmaster medals. Okay, that's getting a bit stressed. So we need three medals overall just to open up to this one. And then we're getting into here. We need another three. So we need six of this particular man's medals just to open him up fully. Now that's a lot of luck. An enormous amount or an enormous amount of fragments i mean to get that many medals he would have how many what is he what is he what is he taskmaster it's 150 so 150 times six whatever that is <laughs> 300 so you got 900 <laughs> 900 medals uh would be needed in order to fully open up each one of those guys including the original hero so probably 900 plus uh, the first hero so it'd need 1200 fragments no 1,050 fragments um, to open him up, or an incredible amount of luck. So, looking at them, if you've got one of them, fantastic. If you're going to focus on trying to open one of them, personally, I'm always going to say that anything to do with uh, wood is probably the best way to go. So, Taskmaster for me, if I was going to buy 
fragments or try and get them with fragments is the one I would focus on. Um, second to that, probably uh, the iron guy, the uh, Ga Gandalf here. That is literally Gandalf, isn't it? That is literally Gandalf. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, if you could, I would focus on uh, Gandalf there, and then probably Mind Master, then the Guild guy, and as I said, everybody has um, Green Thumb already. Uh, I probably should spend a little bit more time on Green Thumb. Maybe I will try and actually get uh, one of his medals. That might be wise, and that might be a good start starting point because you already have him. It might be an easier starting point to focus on that. Anyway, those are the five development heroes, purple development heroes. They're all pretty boring, pretty standard, pretty easy. Uh, hopefully this week I'll be able to come back with all of the purple heroes ranked. Uh, I have started doing it and it's a... Uh there's a lot of them. <laughs> There's a lot more than I remember. And a lot of them link with other people. So I'm trying to, you know, work out which one's the best linking person, all that kind of jazz. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you again soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.